What's up, Smokey here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching y'all and showing y'all this founded stud glitch method, whatever. Um, it was found by my friend, who's kind of a jabroni. But, I don't know if it's uh, been a thing, or it has terminology, or has a name to it. But, I found it out through him, because he just, like, found it, I guess. And I thought it would be nice to share it to y'all. So, it's actually really simple. You can, all you need is, like, a good amount of uh, stubs. I'd say about, like, 5,000. Uh, at most really you can do higher you can do lower you can do whatever and I already have another video on teaching you how to get stubs uh, the normal way and yeah let's get into this new method so this method is all in the shop so in the shop you're gonna go to the market or the marketplace whatever shop marketplace players now you see all these players you can buy they have this buy now and then the sell now price you want to go down to the max amount you have so let's say you only have like 10,000 stubs you're gonna go down to the buy now 10,000 but whenever you look out for these players you want to find a player a big differential in their buy and sell now price so uh, for example this one right here his buy now is 4,554 his sell now that one's glitching out right now so let's do the king goat Kyle Tucker can't go wrong or so you're gonna go go to create buy order so what i just said is like you have to have big differential in it it can't be way too much like that 100 it's it's all whack you need to find a good one that works so you're going to find one that has a good buy uh price that is in your range but you're going to look at the sell price you're going to go price and you're going to one above it so it's three thousand seven hundred fifty five fifty eight excuse me you're going to go three or nine in this case and then see ours is at the top so now you just gotta wait for someone to uh, buy it if you want to know where your uh, thing is standing or whatever you just go over here to my orders active orders and you can see while we wait for this uh, Kyle Tucker to be bought or be sold rather I just did one a second ago where I bought this guy for this amount of money 1626 in inventory you're gonna go to my players search name Okay, now this guy. Now, I bought him for, as you saw, like 1,600, something like that. Now, you're gonna go to him. Uh, oh yeah, just select A on him, go view and market. Now, since I bought him, I have one of his cards, obviously, right? It's, it's the opposite. So whenever you wanna buy, you go one above the sell, but whenever you sell, you wanna go one below the buy. So, instead of 5,000, we'll go 4,999. Now, if you want to see if it got bought, you go back to the same thing I just told you. You go to Marketplace, buy active orders. And whenever that gets bought, this Antuna jabroni, or Antuna dude, you will have made around 3,000, 4,000. It depends on the margin. So, look, I'm selling him for, let's say, 5,000. And I go here. I bought him for, say, 1.5, 1.6. Thousand, so I made about three three thousand five hundred just off of just buying and reselling. Not even like with a roster update. Literally, just I just bought them. Look at the time. If it says like, oh, you can't make this, uh, just try another player somewhere. Some players are like that. Uh, I haven't really tested it with like big blockbuster players, like with tens of thousands in between. Like this guy has a hundred thousand in between, or like fifty thousand, or yeah, fifty thousand in between. I would usually stick around to like the five thousand mark. So you could just if you have like a lot of subs like around like kind of what I have, you can just sit down and do this all day and it works. But while you wait for them you can literally just do other stub missions. And I know this game's like older. It's not like the new game it was back in April. But yeah. Okay, my Kyle Tucker just was bought for 3,000. So let's go to the numbers now. Completed orders. Bought a Kyle Tucker. Now, then sell order. Create sell order. And then I just do one. And that's how you make stubs. Pretty easy. Just remember when you're buying it, you go one over. So you get on top, the highest bid. And then when you sell, you go one under or a couple under, just be safe. But it's a classic business saying, buy low, sell high. And that's how to make some just easy stubs. Uh, if you're still playing this game, all the players in the marketplace have dropped like in the collect. If this helps y'all, subscribe. If you guys want more, subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. Uh, thank y'all for watching and sticking around. See you later and peace. I can miss any nigga here.